According to Governor Balasso Mohammed of Bauchi State, citizens don't need the permission of his Ondo state counterpart, Rotimi Akaridolu, to live in the forests in the state. Bauchi Governor Bala Mohammed told Governor Rotimi Akaridolu, Akaridolu had last month issued a seven day with notice to the Fulani headsmen operating illegally in the state forest reserves. Apart from ejecting the headsmen, the governor also banned underage grazing, night grazing, and the movement of cattle within the cities and on the highways. The issue generated an uproar, and after a meeting with different stakeholders, Akredolu asked headsmen to register with the government so that they can operate unhindered in the forest's reserves. Speaking on Friday on Channel's television's Sunrise program, Governor Bala Mohammed said, Land is in the hands of the state and federal government in trust. But Nigerians don't need the permission of governors or the federal government to settle anywhere. You don't need the permission of the governor of Bauchi or the governor of Ondo to be in the forest of Ondo if you choose to live in the forest because under section 41 of the constitution, you are free to settle anywhere. Akere Dolu had earlier criticized Mohammed for defending the use of arms by headers. After the governor said, headers carry weapons because they need to protect themselves. Describing the comments as careless and despicable, the Ondo state governor said his colleague had encouraged all other Nigerians to carry arms. We read with dismay the outburst in the purported statement by the Bauchi state governor. We are persuaded to believe he didn't make that statement. A statement released by Donald Ojogo, the immediate past commissioner for information and orientation, reads, If indeed he made that statement and owns up to it, and owns up to its content, it then means that the Bauchi state governor has declared on behalf of the federal government an executive order which now allows all Nigerians, headsmen inclusive, to carry prohibited firearms like assault rifles for self-defense. That is exactly what the governor has done and displayed by his conduct, which brazenly depicts that whether other Nigerians like it or not, headsmen must carry AK-47 for self-defense, while other non-Fulani headsmen must remain unarmed to be perpetual victims of arms-wielding bandits. By that statement, the governor has in one breath agreed that Fulani headsmen carry AK-47 and at the same time encouraged all to do likewise. The Bauchi state governor has by his conduct and attitude ushered us into the next level on the path to anarchy. He is not fit for public office. Persons of such impecunious disposition and character are not fit for public office. As long as Nigerians' considerations remain unchanged, it is still unlawful for any unauthorized persons to carry prohibited arms. The statement is most despicable, highly recommended for the dustbin of careless talks, he concluded. 
All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular situation as it is? You all remember and recall that the uh, governor of Bauchi State, Bala Solomon, had defended the headsmen for carrying weapons and uh, for self-defense, saying that the reason why the, the Fulani headsmen carry AK-47 was for self-defense and that they should be allowed to uh, carry arms, to bear arms, and uh, that the government has failed them and the security forces had failed the Fulani headsmen because they failed to protect the Fulanis. Well, he has now come out to say that the Fulanis don't need the governor's permission to live in Ondo forests. The question now is, if they don't need the permission of the governor, whose permission do they need? need? The fact that the constitution allows them to um, reside or live every anywhere does not mean that the constitution permits them to violate the laws of the land and it doesn't mean that the, the constitution permits them to seize and take up people's land it doesn't mean that the constitution permits them to carry out atrocities on people's land as it were so guys you can see that most times when these elites talk they quote the constitution which means that our constitution is very, very porous. And this constitution needs to be well structured and amended again to address most of these issues that the leaders hide behind to defend their evil acts, as it were. The constitution is clear on lots of things, as it were, but lots of people misinterpret it because of the ambiguity of the constitution. So it will serve us right and do us well if our senators in the National Assembly would, as a matter of urgency, address the Constitution review and make a lot of, uh, simplify some of this ambiguity. Make them direct statements. Let them address things, hit the nail on the head, not leaving it ambiguous so that everybody will have a better understanding and clearer understanding of what the particular section of the constitution is avoiding so that nobody begins to quote the constitution in defense of evil. Well, it is sad and unfortunate that a governor, a sitting governor, can you know, come up with this particular level of uh, talks and uh, um, defense for evil that is perpetrated by his kinsmen. Well, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.